All right, everyone. It is Monday, May 18th, 2020, and I am athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz coming to you here on Casual Monday from City Hall, um, hanging out in front of this great Harold Rittenberry painting. Uh, the four years that I worked over at the H.T. Edwards campus every day as Classic City High School principal, kids would often leave in the afternoon at 3.30, and uh, I would take a little break and walk over to the Jittery Joe's on Baxter Street to get a cup of coffee. And nothing made me happier than seeing Harold Rittenberry's sculptures in his yard uh, on the corner of Rose and Kalima. And uh, I think I was having this conversation with Commissioner Edwards over a year ago. And he said, oh, well, I've got a Harold Rittenberry. I'd be glad to lend you for your wall. So uh, it brightens up my day every day and, and makes me... Uh, evermore remember how great I, it is to be here in Athens in such a great creative community. Uh, I want to bring a few things to you today. Uh, I want to let everybody know, as you may have heard, that four of our parks are now open for limited access that were not last week. And so that's Sandy Creek Park, Memorial Park, Ben Burton Park, and the newly renamed Virginia Walker Park, formerly Trail Creek Park. Uh, not all the spaces at all these parks are open because we want to make sure that those very high contact kind of environments aren't utilized. But so that there are more places that people can spread out, um, I encourage you to go uh, get some greenery into your life. Uh, it, it'll make you happy, I can tell you that. A couple other things. Early voting is now underway as of today. Uh, use your absentee ballot request form to request a ballot. And then when you get that, you can either mail it or you can return it to one of our ballot drop boxes, such as the one that's outside the Board of Elections building. There are gonna be some other ballot drop off boxes that you're gonna be able to use soon. Uh, keep up with information there at accgov.com slash elections. Um, but please go vote and there are great safe ways that you can vote right now, uh, including using those ballot drop off boxes. I wanna let you know that we're beginning our formal conversations around the FY21 budget this week. Uh, with myself and the county commission and staff members. Our first budget meeting is this Thursday, the 21st at 5.30 p.m. You can watch that at all the usual outlets, our Facebook page, our YouTube page, and uh, Charter Channel 180. I've proposed that we lower the millage rate by an eighth of a point. There's full information about that that's up on our news page right now, so you can take a look at that. Uh, and we also are proposing to lower the public utilities rate structure. Um, we are several years into our tiered pricing plan for water. Um, we've managed that system very well. And so we're at a point where we can relax what we call tiers two and tiers three. And we also are proposing that we lower that monthly base fee by half, by 50%. And so that would be a total proposed savings to you, the rate payer of about $5 million a year. Finally, before I go, our next community conversation gathering will be this Wednesday, the 20th at 6 o'clock, and I'm going to be joined by our Housing and Community Development Director, Haley Banerjee, and County Commissioner Tim Denson. Uh, Haley has been on the front lines of working to support our indigent care needs as we move through this crisis, and she'll also talk a little bit about reviewing proposals for longer-term care that we've just received. Um, Commissioner Denson served for quite some time on our vision committee helping to support the housing and community development department and so he comes with a wealth of knowledge from that perspective. If you have any questions, please submit those through the portal at accgov.com slash mayor. Uh, I think next week we hope to bring you another conversation with the folks who are running the mobile lab that are supporting our medical care needs around town including COVID testing. Um, I continue to hope you and your loved ones have a fantastic day and a fantastic week as we continue to hold each other high. Look forward to talking to you soon.